and we are recording on Drizzle Land worldwide. Yes, 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 indeed. And it is your official Blade Runner, the new movie review with Harrison Ford. And some people I'm not really familiar with with their names, honestly, in the movies. But solid, solid movie, though. Wonderful storyline, action-packed. I think it's just as good as the original, but possibly better. I mean, some of the battle scenes in this are top-notch. I mean, whoever did the special effects in this movie, like, seriously, like, thumbs up, seven up, because you're awesome, because there is absolutely kick-ass scenes in this. Um, so, let's do the pros and cons to this. Let's start with the pros. The pros is that we get the original cast, basically, other than, you know, a few people. But, I mean, Harrison Ford did a wonderful job in this movie. I was really surprised, considering that he's an older actor. Um, he did a pretty good job in this movie. Um, he did, He's not slowed down, honestly, guys. I, I've always been a Harrison Ford fan. I think he's a very well-talented actor. He can do just about anything. The other pros to this is the storyline is freaking amazing. Because it's just... How could I do... How more could I do, talk about the pros of this? Other than it's not lagging. It's non-stop action. It's not boring in any form of way. The storyline is fantastic. Uh, acting is great. Uh, the plot is really awesome, honestly. It keeps you going. It's not boring by any means. Um, like, some movies have that point in time where the movie is, like, it's boring and it just keeps lagging on and on. No, this movie is nothing like that. They did it well, well, well thought process through this and what they wanted to do with the movie and and the characters i loved it i thought it was a very solid picture um you know i mean for them bringing back blade runner i felt like this was this is what blade runner should have been to begin with in the first movie if you want my honest opinion um i mean in the fact that it makes sense like some me some things that you you watch you're like okay why did they put this in the movie it makes no sense this movie makes perfect sense because it kind of goes along with the original storyline from the first movie so thank you actually for doing something good with the Blade Runner series <laughs> um now the there's only one bad thing that I'll say is I felt like the music that they were using um, in this movie could have been much better. Um, that's the only thing that I'm going to say bad about the movie is that I thought the soundtrack could have been much better. Um, some of the music didn't really fit, in my opinion. Um, but other than that, the movie is solid. I would give it like 10 stars, in my opinion. I would say go watch it if you're a Harrison Ford fan. Uh, if you like the original movie, this is another movie that I think that you guys would really enjoy. And I was not disappointed with this movie. I, I, I actually really like it. I would watch it over and over and over and over and over again because it's awesome. Uh, there's nothing boring about it. I really enjoyed it. The new Blade Runner movie kicks ass. I like it. It's much better than the original in my opinion. The original had, like, its slow moments developing with characters and stuff. This movie, nothing, no. Nothing like that. In your face, action-packed, well-deserved movie. Thank you for developing it. Great movie. Now, now we're going to get on to another movie that I've been wanting to review for a very long time now. And it's been out on Blu-ray and DVD for, like... Ages basically now, and I've seen it twice already. And frankly, it's another good movie, and that's Wonder Woman. Now, 
the first time I went to Wonder Woman was actually with my niece. Um, and I wasn't really expecting much from it because, I mean, I remember, like, the old TV series from, like, you know, the 1970s. That's that's my version of Wonder Woman. That's That's the one that I grew up, you know, kind of watching, basically, with, like you know, uh, my family when I was growing up. Um, but this movie is amazing. The plot is absolutely awesome. The character development is fantastic. The battle scenes are really good. I mean, the fact that they didn't really stray away from, like, the original storyline is great because you're you're re you know developing the character for a new generation and i think wonder woman was a fantastic movie i didn't see anything wrong with this movie i mean the woman that plays wonder woman in this movie not only gorgeous fellas very very gorgeous by the way yum 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 but she can kick ass and take names and she does a really great job in this movie. And I just found nothing wrong with Wonder Woman. I thought it was a fantastic movie, honestly. Um, and so I would give it 10 stars, frankly. I think it's worth watching over and over again. I, I, I think that the few times I've seen it, I've been pretty impressed with it. I mean, I definitely think it's up there. So, um and let me think here. What was the other movie I was going to review very, very fast? I'm going, yeah, okay. Why don't we quickly review The Man of Steel, the last Superman movie. I don't think I ever got around to that. Um, so, I'll say this. For me, not really liking modern Superman movies, I didn't think the movie was too terrible. Um, I thought the character development was fantastic. Um, scenes, as far as battle scenes and fighting scenes, yeah, pretty good. The only flaw that I have is, again, the movie is a little slow in the middle of it to kind of develop to the, the main ending part of it. Um, kind of long, but if you are a Superman fan, I wouldn't shy away from it. I mean, it's nothing like the, the horrible, poopy, like, Superman versus Batman crappy movie that, oh my god, my brain, like, died that day to have to watch that crap. That was horrible. Horribles. Entirely. That movie should not have never been made. That's just garbage. So... Man of St the Man of Steel, honestly, is a Superman movie, and as a huge fan of Superman, I would say, in the between rating, I would give it eh, 7.5. Like, good that they tried it, not a bad movie, character was pretty good as far as fighting, and but they could have done a little bit more as far as the plot, um... But yeah, honestly, Justice League comes out soon. Um, I really want to go see it. Um, hopefully I can to be able to review it. And Star Wars. Star Wars is coming up too, guys. I'm going to review that too because I'm going to go see that. So pay attention to the channel. I'm going to be updating, doing some different things, reviews. Um, and so yeah.